made it with plenty of time to spare. Lovely ride up on the public transport system. What did we take the, the tram? The, the tram. It's really nice. It only costs us 98 cents a piece. Yeah, you can just tap on right on the bus with a credit card or with Apple Pay or just with your smartphone, and that makes it really nice. Yeah, we put Apple Pay on our on our phones, and it has been fantastic all over Europe. It's a lot nicer than having to pull your credit card out everywhere, and a lot more secure. We got about 45 minutes till our bus leaves. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? This has actually been a really nice trip. We stop every two hours. And look at this, I've never seen a seat do this. It's impressive. We're only a third of the way through. It's been very comfortable. We should reach the Turkish border probably in an hour or so. That should be the interesting part. And that's right about halfway. As we've gotten closer and closer to Turkey, the bathrooms have gotten cheaper and cheaper. This one was free. <laughs> There's a low travel body. Hello. Are you enjoying your trip? Katie got asked to puppy sit. I did. Gotta stretch out. It's only 12 hours on the bus. She's acting like it's a long trip. I need my sunglasses. Welcome to Turkey. I think we got a new guard at our station. She didn't really know how to deal with our e visas, but after a little bit of phone call and back and forth, good to go. She stamped our papers. We had them digitally and also printed them out on paper. Good thing we did. I'm not sure if it was or not, because the paper kind of threw her. If I showed it to her on my phone, she would have just scanned us right through. It's still way quicker through the border crossing than we were expecting, so. But you have to take all your stuff off the bus. You do have to take all your stuff off the bus, so don't be all yard sailed when you come up to the border. Well now, let's just see if there's anything missing. I think now we're about a halfway to Istanbul. Awesome trip so far. We found the public transportation system very easy to use and had no problems at all getting from the bus station to our hotel across the Bosphorus. <laughs> Last night, all we did was grab a kebab and crash. <laughs> it was a lot better day of travel than we'd expected, but it was still long. Got a couple of things to take care of today. The first is to go get a SIM card. My phone does the dual SIMs. We've never used it because T-Mobile has always worked really good for us wherever we're at. But here in Wowza, here in the eastern part of Europe, it has been almost non-functional with the included data. Turkcell has a welcome package that's supposed to be a good deal for 30 days, or a tourist welcome package, so that's what we're gonna go try and find. After that, it's off to my train tickets to our next stop. We checked the route, but not the elevation game. Oh my. Take me to the bread shop. This place actually sells Turkish towels. And they have a kitty. Aren't all towels in Turkey Turkish towels? <laughs> this is the first time in Istanbul. We're staying in Karakoy. Not sure I pronounced that right. And my first impression is this city has it happening. It's fun to walk around. And they have lots of cats. walking around last night, we saw one of the scams we needed to look out for. It was the, my mom needs to go to the hospital scam. It was just like we had seen in the videos. We were like, oh cool, that's, oh yeah, no, sorry, we don't, yeah, live by. <laughs> It seems that our sim adventure was successful. Let you know over the coming days how well that package works. We've heard they tend to give you broken ones and then you gotta go back after a couple days and then give you the right one. But we went to an actual Turk cell office. Hopefully we don't have that problem, but we will be sure to let you know. Next adventure. We're gonna take a ferry. No, that, you're just gonna have to wait and find out. 
<laughs> All right, we're going to Car I Decoy so we can find the high speed train to our next adventure just because we don't know exactly when it can when it goes or if it goes or if there's enough seats. So we're off to the train station. Yeah, what what she said. <laughs> that is a fun looking truck. With that boarding system of just having everybody pile up and then opening the doors and all the seats are open, uh, when this was really busy, I could imagine this would be really fun. Fun in a no thank you situation. Or wait, wait, this is a nice hurry. There's a lot of room, so I know they can shove a lot of people on here. But they have a bathroom, they have food or drinks. All of these drinks so far. It's really nice. You can sit outside or inside. <laughs> I think I'm in heaven. There's a rooster over here crowing. And I think he needs a hug. Yes, I say yes, Lammy Pie. He's in a box. I've never seen or heard a rooster actually crow in a box. They're usually don't say anything. That was a great ferry ride. Very easy. I have to say that's how we're going back because that was really nice. Oh joy, another demonstration. Large groups of people. You know how well they make me nervous. <laughs> Keep trying to encourage Katie to get out of her comfort zone. That's a great way to do it. Hey, I did blue hair. That is getting out. We got to the train and it was pretty simple. The guy with gestures and a little bit of writing figured out where we wanted to go. Bought our tickets, we thought, oh, We'll go econo economical. He looked at us really strange, like, okay. And then we looked at our ticket, we misinterpreted the exchange. Business class was only, what? $10 more, $12 so more. <laughs> we looked at it, we realized what our mistake, and went back and he uh, corrected it for us and gave us business class, and then only charged us the extra amount, which was very sweet. Very nice. Surprisingly easy, considering he spoke about four words of English and we speak absolutely no Turkish. Now we are off to find some lunch. We have seen a lot of beautiful wedding dresses in the different countries, but the Turkish wedding dresses are amazing. They're so incredibly beautiful. Apparently there's a soccer game today because everybody's selling all sorts of soccer memorabilia and everybody's dressed up. It's pretty amazing. Found the place for chicken and rice. You got those napkins, didn't you? I thought they were napkins. Stretch. Tasty napkins. Well, those are good napkins. <laughs> I got three legs. I saw them roasting them when we walked past, so I had to come back by and get some because it looked so good. They're ro roasted and then they have salt and pepper on them. They're really good. Let's see about the rice. The rice is cooked with chicken broth. I like our simple meal. It's really good. Anybody ever see us eat chicken and rice before? Three drumsticks and a big plate of rice. For me, I got a big thigh and a drumstick on it for two bucks a piece. That is amazing value. It's so good. I'm not gonna ask you to talk to you in your mouth full, poor girl. Oh, hi. Glad that you can see me. I'm not sure what we're gonna do now, but I'm sure it involves coffee and we'll probably see you later on tonight. Well, we realized that it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we figured we should get a little bit more outdoor stuff done today. So our beautiful tour guide behind me is uh, scrubbing some last minute info on possibly, go possibly, possibly going to the palace. I think I have a plan. I, it's just not a direct route. This will be fun. Sounds fun. Wonderful. Let's go get some water and dirt. I'll have to get back in for dessert. What a difference 20 feet of wall can make from craziness and pandemonium out on the street to just this beautiful garden space that's enormous. I know how to pick parks. And look. Dogs and crows. Perfect idea. According to my map, this is the entrance. 
I think the map's wrong. Let's go this way. <laughs> hey, you guys are noisy. There's actually parrots up there. The parrots live in the holes. The doves or the pigeons want in those holes. And so they keep trading places every time somebody moves. It's quite entertaining. <laughs> Good. Those are all stork nests. They are pretty yeah. incredible. I noticed on the picture over there something that I wanted to try. It's called, I don't know, but it's baked cheese with pistachios on top and it has honey and it's really warm. That is really sweet. That is good. I would not have known that was cheese. The top has something baked into it, but it's like a, I, I, this is terrible, like little hairs on the top of it and it's all baked. So it gives it a great texture. This is really good. Well, we just can't leave this place. We got teas, then dessert, and now we're having dinner. You got curry, I've got a mixed kebab. I have really good curry. Oh, the kebabs where to go. That's really good. I think this may really be it for us for this evening, so we're going to enjoy the rest of this meal and then wander back across the bridge to our hotel to get some more sleep. So if it's a beautiful view, we might show you that. Otherwise, tomorrow is supposed to be super rainy, so I think we're going to go to the Grand Bazaar and the Spice Bazaar, Spice Market, and check out some indoor activities. So if we don't see you tonight, we've said that already today, we'll see you tomorrow. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Make, Make the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>